today's mini tutorial for Adobe After Effects is going to be a, a two-parter. That's uh, some easy to use but fun effects that I've been using for this parts of the Caribbean show. And so there's going to be two things that we're going to look at. One is just a, a simple flicker effect that you can do for like a fire, reflection of a fire like you see here. Um, and then I'll do a, a separate video on how you can do some some water rippling effects too. So let's look at this one first because it's, it's actually pretty easy and uh, uses an expression that you'll be able to find a lot of use cases for actually once you start using it. And so that one is called a wiggle effect. And I, I see it as kind of a, a randomizer. So whatever, whatever property that you're trying to, to keyframe on that you want it to change over time, but you want it to be random rather than do a whole bunch of little bitty keyframes and try to make them appear random, you can use this wiggle function and it'll do the, the same thing. And uh, it can be done on pretty much any of these things that have a stopwatch. Uh, if you want to do a fire effect though, this is kind of how you do it. Uh, you first need to add some, some light to it. So I'm going to come up to layer and new light and get some kind of a fiery looking color. We'll just go with yellow, that's fine. Fire flicker. And in order for the light layer to work, it needs to be shining on a 3D layer. So I'm going to make this composition 3D. And let's just make the cone a little bit bigger. And I'm going to move it down more towards the ground. So it's like the fire's down on the ground, coming from the ground. And I'm going kind of quick through some of these other steps that I've covered either in other mini tutorials or in the online uh, Adobe After Effects course. So some of the stuff I'm kind of going through quick. Okay, so we got, we got the source of the fire, let's say is just right here. And then we want it to kind of flicker the way a fire does. The, the property that we're going to want to have change over time is intensity. If I change this, then that's what makes it dimmer or brighter. And to, to give that that kind of random flickering on and off, then I'll hold down the Alt key and press the stopwatch next to intensity. And the expression is just called wiggle. When you start typing, it's gonna give you a prompt. This takes two parameters. The first one is how quickly you want it to, to kind of oscillate or move between the highs and the lows for this property. So let's try four to see what that looks like. And then the, the second parameter is, is how much you want it to change. Now, if you got zero intensity or even negative intensity, I don't know if it goes negative or not, but kind of a low intensity to high intensity, this is the number that gives you that, that range. So let's try, let's try 70 and see how that works. Okay, and that's, that's all there is to it. Then if you play it, you can see how it looks. The wiggle did not cause the tree to fall. That's something else I'm playing with. <laughs> It's not a bad flicker. And then you can decide, do I want it to be faster than that, a faster flicker uh, or a slower one? And you know, when we talk about how to invoke emotions with your show, the, the speed at which you're doing some of that stuff can, can affect the feeling that you're going for. And so there you go, that's the wiggle expression. It's as, it's as easy as that. Uh, but now you can start thinking about how to use it for any of these other properties. Uh, let me find another example of where I'm using wiggle in this show that we're working on. Um, this pirate ship scene. This, this is the ship from the Pirates of the Caribbean ride. And I just grabbed an image of it, but tried to add some animation to the image itself. And so some of that movement is the ship rocking back and forth, as well as rocking in 3D space uh, for, uh, towards us and away from us. Um, I also have Barbosa's arm, which is probably hard to see, but his arm is is, is moving. And then I have flickering on these lanterns. All that's with wiggle. So um, you could do that with, so make the ship rock back and forth. That's on the, the rotation property of the, the image, right? And so you can do that alt and click on, on the, the, uh, the rotation and then do wiggle and play with the two parameters. And then you'd get a rocking back and forth randomly. And then I did the same thing in 3D for the axis that would move it towards me or away from me. And so just, just using just wiggle, I was able to get 
uh, we've got four or five different types of animation on on this ship, which is kind of cool. So if you use your creativity, think of some cool ways that you can use Wiggle to add randomness to your animations. Now, if you now we, we brushed over a lot of the basics in After Effects in these videos, because this is a mini tutorial. Uh, you can look at the other mini tutorials that we have on the channel, or if you want to do a, a deep dive and a more comprehensive dive into projection mapping in Adobe After Effects, then we have an online course that covers the entire projection mapping process. And I'll put a link to that in the description if you'd like to take a look at that.